So uh, let's give it one more round of applause for Chelsea for that amazing testimonial. Today we've heard uh, inspiring stories from folks like Chelsea and from the extraordinary young people earlier today. We've heard experts and academics, we've heard political leaders talk about the uh, opportunity nation that we must create together. But I want to just tell you a little bit, I want to share with you a little bit about your voices, the voices and the stories and the ideas that were generated in the breakout sessions that we had over lunch. Uh, and your voices are actually what will be key to advancing this movement of opportunity. And uh, it will not be sufficient to have just the leaders that are speaking from this podium that are behind this, but it is imperative and necessary for us to engage the voices, the creativity, the muscle, and the perseverance, and the passion of our citizenry. And you all represent that. You all represent the leaders that will carry us forward. So let me tell you just a little bit about the breakout sessions. How were the breakout sessions? Did everybody? So there were 10 breakout sessions. They're listed in your program. Everything, covering everything from how do we engage the media in this cause to how do we fight gridlock in Congress to advance legislation and public policy. And so let me just tell you a couple of the ideas, just a few of the ideas that were generated. Uh, one of the ideas was we must move from a binary conversation about too little government or too much government. We must talk about public-private partnerships. We must talk about coming together and how the three legs of our stool will work together to form the bedrock of opportunity and optimism and possibility for America. We also heard an announcement, one of our sessions, Jobs for the Future announced a new collaborative effort to increase the number of Americans without diplomas who were involved in post-secondary education. So listen to this. They have committed that they will put 40,000 people through these pathways in five states. So give them a round of applause by 2014. We also talked about how important it is to ensure that parents and students are at the table at the conversations about finances for college, for community college, for uh, technical educational experiences. We must have them at the table and we must create transparency around finances for higher ed. We also talked in, in the session that I was in about how volunteering can be a pathway for, uh, for opportunity and also how volunteers can support this effort. And we talked about how the index is a, is a really great tool to get people to mobilize over the long term, to think about the long term trajectory for how we create an opportunity nation. We talked about creating a national Kickstarter for civic projects. And uh, we also talked during our sessions about the media, how the media is more interested in individual stories than they are about problem solving. But we must use those individual stories, the kind of stories that we've heard today, to help them see and to tell our story of programs that work and how we can scale those programs. So we, we had another announcement from the Rockefeller Foundation in which they committed over a million dollars uh, for a prize for the best solution to leverage the assets of youth through small business. So this all just happened over lunch today. Uh, so let's give ourselves a hand. We talked about transforming uh, technical education, making it the prestigious pathway that it needs to be, making it more effective and efficient. And, uh, and a whole host of other ideas. And perhaps most of all, we had passionate youth talk with authentic voices about how they're going to use a council of young people to create change across this country. So give yourselves a round of applause for these great ideas, for the great stories that you all told. And as we move forward with the Opportunity Nation plan, these are the topics, these are the ideas that will fuel our efforts. We're gonna take all of these ideas and we're gonna pull them together for the Opportunity Nation uh, plan going forward. And let me, just, let me just reinforce that it is truly you, you uh, thousand folks that are gathered here today that can animate the millions more that need to be mobilized in order for us to create and fulfill the vision that has been articulated today. So let's keep those conversations going and let's keep the movement going for an opportunity nation. Thank you.